everyone in this video I'll be showing to you the places that we've been in Paris last week and since I can't pronounce this French words properly I'll just note it here just like this one on the screen this is the first uh, area that we've been on the first day it's only our second time in Paris and we only have about three days to explore but of course all the schedule depends on our baby he's only one year old so we have to see and not really kind of schedule everything so this tower right here is uh, the July column so we walk around the streets in Bastille we walk through this alley here and it's actually very cool it's like a medieval structure I have remembered it right, I've seen this place in one of the Netflix series uh, titled Parisian Agency. These are the real estate agents who are selling uh, luxury apartments and houses to their clients. And I've seen that this one of the house here was very very expensive so it's actually pretty nice. It's quiet and it was not crowded when we went there. This square was built in the 17th century and it's actually the oldest square in Paris. This is now one of the hottest neighborhoods in Paris for shopping, dining and trendy living. The medieval streets make for fascinating strolling and there's plenty of window shopping as well. We saw this well-situated restaurant here, the La Place Royale, and we liked the ambience, so we decided to have dinner here. For our food experience, I will make a separate video of it, and hopefully I could release it this week as well. And after the dinner, we took an Uber and went straight to the Louvre. We booked for an 8 p.m. individual tour and I believe they're closing at 9 45 p.m. and knowing how big is the Louvre it's one of the biggest or I believe it is the biggest museum in the world it normally would take you more than a day two or three days to explore everything but since we only have very limited time then we only went to Dan and Wing to see Mona Lisa was raining and we have a baby with us so it was a bit challenging and even if it's like the last hour before the museum will close there's still a lot of people coming in The Louvre Museum is very famous. It has over 400 rooms and uh, 35,000 artworks. So it's actually impossible to see everything in one day. So if you only have like an hour or two just like us, we recommend that you visit uh, the Denon Wing. So this wing houses most of the famous masterpieces like Mona Lisa, uh, the Raft of the Medusa and more. So if you have a very limited time, I would recommend this. But if you really want to explore uh, the whole museum, I think two to three days is not even enough, but that's good enough.
course the star of the show here it is uh, the queue for Mona Lisa so just for those who are not familiar Mona Lisa is a half-length portrait painting by Italian artist Leonardo da Vinci so it's actually has been described as the best known the most visited the most written about the most sung about the most parodied work of art in the world it is also one of the most valuable paintings in the world and it holds the Guinness World Record for the highest known painting insurance valuation in history, which is equivalent to $870 million in 2021.